And Nu'iban was a prankster. Like now we have in social media people who, who, who play pranks. Well, he was a prankster. One of his pranks that he played, he went out with Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu and a group of other people in an expedition of, of, of trade. They went to Sham area, the Levant. And at one point, Abu Bakr had stepped away from the group and Nu'iman asked one of the other people, he said, give me some of that food, I'm hungry. He said, no, we have to wait until Abu Bakr returns. And so then Nu'iman said, La I'm going to get you. So he went to a group of people who had uh, camels and he said, look, I'm going to sell you a slave. But watch out. He's really sharp tongue. And when you buy him, he's going to tell you that he's actually free. And so he sold that person to the camel traders for 10 camels. Then they came to collect him and he was, you know, yelling and shouting at them. He said, what are you doing? What are you doing? They said, we just bought you. He said, no, no, I'm free. He said, yep, that's what your owner told us, he would say. And then Abu Bakr came back and he, he, he solved the issue. And they said from that joke, because it got back to the Prophet ﷺ, the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ and his companions laughed for a whole year about that prank. Now, that's not where he stopped. One time, a Bedouin man came to the masjid and he tied his camel and he went inside the masjid. And there was a group of Sahaba that had not had meat for a long time. And they knew Nu'aiman. They knew you, all you have to do is, you know, it's gentle pushing and he's going to do something. So they said, Nu'aiman, why don't you go slaughter that camel? We'll all eat meat. And then the Prophet ﷺ will pay for it. He'll, he'll, he'll bail us out, literally. He'll bail, he'll bail us out. So Nu'aiman goes over there, he slaughters the camel, and they start, you know, the butchering process or however. And then the, imagine the, the, the Bedouin comes out of the masjid, and he sees his camel, the animal that he's riding on, his livelihood, is, is slaughtered. And so he got very mad, and, and then Nu'aiman takes off running. And the Prophet ﷺ comes out, he sees all of this going on, and then he asks what happened. They said it's Nu'aiman. He goes to try to find him. They find Nu'aiman anhu, find, hiding in a garden. And they said in a khandaq, like in a trench, covered up with leaves and stuff. He's trying to hide. And the Prophet wasallam says, why did you do that? And then he said, well, the ones who guided you to me, the ones who told you where I was hiding, they're the ones who put me up to that. So ask them. And so as the Prophet wasallam is wiping the dust from his face, he's laughing as he's doing it. Like it... It, it made him laugh. Um, another time, the Prophet uh, the Nu'aiman wanted to give gifts to the Prophet wasallam so much that one time when a person came into the city of Medina, he told him, he said, go give this to the Prophet. I, you know, um, as, and, and, or he, he took it from him. He, and then he, he took it to the Prophet wasallam and he said, this is a gift for you. Then when the man came to collect the price, he said, go to the prophet because he's the one who has the food. So he went there and he said, are you going to pay me for the food? He said, this was a gift from Nu'aiman. He was going to. And so he asked him, he says, didn't you give it to me as a gift? And Nu'aiman said, he said, I didn't have its price. I couldn't afford it. But ahbabtu an I, I wanted, I loved for you to eat that. So the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam laughed and he paid for that. So this was Nu'aiman. Nu'aiman, sorry. Nu'aiman. He loved the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He made him laugh, but there was, he did have an issue. He drank alcohol. And so one time he was caught and the, the, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had the punishment of, uh, for drinking alcohol uh, done to him. And then after him, some of the people used to, uh, were saying things about him. Like one person, and in one narration it says, uh, Allahumma al-anhu. Somebody actually cursed him, did la'an, damned him. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and listen to this, la tal'anu, don't curse him. Fawallahi ma'alimtu illa annahu yuhibbu allaha wa rasulah. I swear by Allah, I know that he loves Allah and his messenger. He loves Allah and his messenger. And I know the food's going to start coming up, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to wrap it up. But this is what I, a few things that I want us to think about. That when somebody loves somebody else, one of the forms of love is giving gifts. This is what Nu'aiman did. In addition to his service to the Prophet wasallam, he was at bay, one of the bay'ahs, one of the allegiance, the second bay'ah. That's his 
connection to the Prophet Wasallam. He gave him gifts. And gift giving is one of the signs of showing love. And for those of you who are familiar with the five love languages, one of them is gi- giving gifts. I reviewed it just to say, well, you know, we, we know from, from, this, from this ayah that one of the love, language should, love languages with Allah should be, should be obedience. So we know that part of our showing love to him, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is to obey him. But at the same time, if disobedience creeps up into our lives in whatever form, we should remember the story of Nu'aiman and know that, that actions of dis- disobedience do not negate the fact that we have love for Allah and his messenger.